Good morning everyone, it's Tess and today is tip 116. And today in keeping with um, what I mentioned yesterday is this week Doc V challenged us to be um, personal, to kind of uh, share like our personal experience. Um, and I, I, today I guess actually gave me an aha, so I'll explain that in a minute. And what I'm gonna say today is all about for me what is different for me this time in my weight loss journey than any other time? And just for those who know or don't know, probably 20 years ago, I lost 116 pounds, got sick, gained it all back, plus some. Then ended up where I ended up having bariatric surgery almost five years ago. I'm down almost 160 pounds, um, almost 40 was lost during this past year. So. I'm like, okay, last time I didn't even keep it off a year. This time I'm still losing five years out. What's different? Why? What is it I have to hold on to to make this last forever? And so what I actually started looking at as I was kind of putting together, what am I looking at differently? What What is really important to me right now? And I think the number one thing I'm finally understanding is that progress is my perfection. I have to know that in order to succeed, it is progress that will bring me that place that I'm seeking so strongly to get to. And um, progress is the only possible way for me to reach that place I'm seeking to get to. So I have to really remember that um, reaching perfection will mean progress. So that's where I've tripped myself up so many times in the past is that I've got hung up on being absolutely perfect. And if I'm not perfect, then I failed. Then I stop monitoring. Then I stop making changes. And then I fall back into old patterns. This past year, I've been able to connect with and put together a plan and, and adapt and change that plan and connect with groups to help me keep moving forward eliminating that perfection and making myself just keep moving forward. So my number one thing that is different this time is that I'm recognizing that progress is perfection for me. That's how I keep moving forward. Then change, and I need lots of change, and I need continual change, and I need constant ad adapting and, and making new decisions and adjusting my my uh, journey and learning and uh, trying to improve, you know, like gardening and green smoothies and fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and what foods make my body feel good, what foods make me not feel so good. Um, what, you know, what, what can I change to make myself move forward? And then my big one this past year that I finally started to learn to overcome is demolishing anxiety and negative self-worth. That's probably something that I've carried for most of my life because that word perfection, I never saw it as if I was making progress towards it, I was winning. All you have to do to win is to be making progress. And I kept expecting perfection at every single moment, not recognizing that it was a journey. So demolishing anxiety, getting rid of that negative self-worth, getting rid of that monkey brain, recognizing when that monkey has kind of put itself on my shoulder and just to keep moving forward. So that's kind of been part of what's different in my journey this time. Um, and I'm gonna say the other thing that I've done this past year is I'm, I am living, I have a living plan. My plan or what I'm doing to succeed this time. Hi, Tracy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you, miss. I know we used to work together, but it's been a while. Um, so actually, my fourth tip is that I'm actually living my plan. And by that, I mean I'm constantly, every single day, looking to how I can make changes to keep moving forward. Um, I can't put together, I think it's even like putting together a budget. If you put together a budget and you're rigid and you never understand that things might change, there might be a tire that needs to be repaired, or you might have... Uh, a crack in a basement you might have to repair or you might have to, you know, purchase new tires. You have to be able to kind of adjust and adapt and shift when things kind of present themselves. And I think that's what I've kind of recognized in my journey this time too, is there are going to be needs to change. Even in the fact like COVID last year caused me to have to change. And I had to find resources that weren't in person because there was going to be no way I could be in person with people. So that's kind of helped me. And then 
number five is that I always have to go right back to step number one and keep working and working and working. And it's a circle for me. So I know that for me, the way I'm going to get to my final end result is progress is my perfection. I just have to remember, I am perfectly working my plan if I continue to make progress. That's going to mean in order to make progress, I've got to change. That's my number two. Lots of change, continual change. The number three is I've got to break off all anxiety. I've got to just smash it. I can't have monkey brain up here telling me negative thoughts. I got to send them away and I got to find the tools to make myself feel better. For me, the tools are like meditation. They are like positive thoughts. Um, like I am thankful and grateful for today. I am grateful for the nutrition my food will provide me. I am grateful to have a job. I am grateful. So I kind of try to set the stage saying positive thoughts to keep myself moving forward. Um, then I also, like I said, develop that living plan so I keep moving forward. And what finally dawned on me today is that um, I am so close. I am five years into this journey. I am still losing weight. Over the past year, I've lost almost 40 pounds. And I was thinking about it this morning. Doc V always talks about how uh, the spring is the chance and when people start to lose the most possible weight. And what dawned on me this morning is that if I can repeat or improve upon what I've done in the past year, I'll be ready to move into the stages of like skin surgery and, and putting this journey into maintenance and how to maintain my life forever. And boy, is that kind of exciting to know that I'm five years out, I'm still working this, I'm still making progress, which is perfect. That's perfect. All I have to do is make progress. And if I can repeat in the next 12 months what I did in the previous 12 months, I'm ready to take this to the next level. I'm ready to start looking at skin surgeries and um, closing the weight loss part of it and moving into the maintenance part of it. I'm that close and it never even dawned on me till this morning. So what what is different for me this time? I have stayed engaged in it. I have recognized what I need to do to keep moving forward. I've been able to keep moving forward for five years, even though in the middle I had about two years where I kind of stayed stagnant. Um, I am putting together teams and, and groups and people that help me to move forward when I start to stumble. So I'm grateful to Doc V. I'm grateful for the challenge because I know I can do it. And all I have to do is repeat what I've done in the past 12 months and I'm ready to next level. Next level, it'll continue to make changes. I'll continue to have to make progress even after I get to my goal weight. I'll still have to continue to make progress. But I've learned so much. I've seen so many opportunities for things that I've never even thought were achievable in my life. And it will get me ready for the next phases of life. So this is really exciting. Um, he asked us to dig deep. He asked us to be personal. He asked us to find, share what we've experienced in the past year. And what it made me realize is that I'm ready. I'm ready for that next step. And it's pretty freaking exciting. So um, hang in there with me. I know you guys can all do it too. And together, we're going to make this next year amazing because it's time. Hi, Jean. Hi, you guys. So um, just even to recap, my thought today is that what is different this time and what's different is I'm five years out. I'm still losing weight and I can see that if I can repeat in this next year what I've done in the first in this first year of COVID, I'm ready for my skin surgeries for my uh, maintenance and that I will have finally reached goal weight for the first time in my adult life. And I'm pretty excited. And my, my tips for me to keep moving forward are that number one, progress is my perfection. As long as I keep making progress, I am living my life perfectly. That will be all I need to do. To live that life perfectly, I just need to keep making changes, small changes, keep recognizing and moving forward. The big thing for me in the past year is demolishing anxiety sending the monkey brain right off my shoulder when he tries to cause me problem and working on self-worth. 
there have been a lot of tools I've put together. I've been working with Law of Attraction for Positive Thoughts. I've been doing meditations every day. I say statements, positive statements, I am affirmations, things to keep my mind thinking forward. And then my next step, my fourth step is that I understand and recognize that this is a living plan. And by that, I mean it has to grow and change as I need it to so that I'm continually making progress to head into my perfection. No, because progress is my perfection. And number five is I just keep starting at number one. It's a circle. It's a beautiful circle. There's a lot of learning along the way. And I'm recognizing a lot of opportunities for some things I never even thought I was interested in. And now I'm really excited because all I got to do is repeat the past year and I'm ready to move into the next level. Thank you guys for being here with me. I'm excited for you. Share your journeys. Anything I can help you with, I'm here for you. And thank you, thank you so much for being with me because I'm, I'm going to do it this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a beautiful weekend. And as Doc V says, slingshot your weekend to make your next the next phases of your life better than the ones before. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Thank you.